Leaving Mayport, the Sammy B steamed all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, past Gibraltar and into the Mediterranean, through the Suez Canal, past the Horn of Africa, and then to Africa's east coast. I met the ship in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, one of the ports the crew visited as part of their Africa Partnership Station mission. For every one knot of current that you have in the water, it equals to 30 knots of wind. This unique program brought aboard sailors from several African navies who learned the ropes on the U.S. warship and took classes aimed at advancing their own skills at sea. Oh, they bring very positive attitudes. They're all eager, very eager to learn, um, very sharp. They want to learn, they want to understand, and they want to better themselves. And the really neat thing is seeing the regional countries work together. Sometimes, sometimes it's their first opportunity. It's a two-way street, as American leaders hope to strengthen bonds with these African friends will lead to closer cooperation in counter-piracy and other maritime operations. Uh, and it just shows the folks here that we have a willingness to be engaged. We want to uh, develop closer relationships. The Sammy B. Sailors fostered those relationships with the Community Relations Project in each port they visited, helping local charities and schools with needed projects. At this school in Dar es Salaam, volunteers from the ship spent a full day helping to paint classroom walls and had fun getting to know the students at the same time. I believe, you know, um, in giving back, um, especially to uh, people who are less fortunate than us, you know, and, um, you know, get a little time off the ship as well. We'll show you more about how the Sammy B. sailors live and work for six long months at sea right after this. But first, a bit about the meaning of their motto, no higher honor. The phrase was coined by the commander of World War II destroyer escort DE-413, the first ship named for Samuel B. Roberts. The first Sammy B went down heroically in one of the largest naval battles in American history, prompting her commander to say there was no higher honor than serving with his men. Question, Mr. Cumboard? Throughout this program, you'll hear sailors from today's Sammy B tell you what no higher honor means to them. We'll be right back after this. It is an honor, it is truly an honor to be on this ship, knowing the history behind it and knowing this is the third ship to carry the name. Oh, the phrase no higher honor means that there's nothing that this ship cannot do. 